Hello, all my handsome and gorgeous honeybees. This is your King Bee speaking. We are back today for a new game called West of Loathing. I have never played this before, so I'm very excited to jump right in. Let's get started. Let's see. Okay, let's. New. Okay. Uh, okay. Play. Uh, oh, I could actually choose who I want to play. Florence Smith, Dick Masterson, <laughs> uh, Cub Autry, Wilson Rogers, Larry Duty, Bobcat Dalton. Oh, okay, yeah, let's get this. Nice, I think this is cool. Boom, boom. Alright, um, I'll do. Dan McMurty. That sounds pretty good to me. Yes, yes I do. All right, I had strange dreams. I was choosing a character class: cowpuncher, bean slinger, snake oiler. Uh, let's do snake oiler. That sounds interesting to me. Snake oiler rely on the moxie and just pay to tame snakes. Their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes and the cleverness to manufacture and sell potions potions made from those oils you've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days and also out west is where all the best snakes live okay i want to be a snake oiler that sounds fun my room nice okay all right my room Okay, um, let's see, what can we do? Let's turn the music off. Um, comb hair, sure. Oh, okay, got some skill points. All right. Uh, you read Spine, one of your books, The Hero of Cursed Forest. I remember that one. Read another title. Nope, oh, I skipped that one. Trouble at Grizzly Cove. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Read another title. Paul Swift and the Secret of Grizzly Castle. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Oh, hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item. Walking Stupid. What is Walking Stupid? Okay, you got an inventory. Read it. The book tells the tale of a renegade chef who was really, really bad at walking. All right, let's, uh, I guess, read it. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk simply. You got a perk, Stupid Walking. Okay, nice. You accidentally dropped the book and then ruined it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, so what? <laughs> uh, Alright. <laughs> so, I could see why they call it that. Um, Alright, let's see. Uh, hey, Russell, how you doing? Call. Uh, let's say I'm going to miss you, buddy. Could call. Feed Russell a cricket, leave him alone. I'll give him the guy a cricket, why not? Grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time to leave too. Goodbye, Russell, be good. Uh, let's do two. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies to the west. It's time to hit the trail. Well, alright, at least, you know, uh, at least Russell was, uh, at least Russell was happy. This 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 walk though, really. All right, I guess it's time to go. Um, okay, what a mess. Stack firewood. Okay, yeah, I'm curious to see how many of you guys played this and what your thoughts are on it. I'm so far enjoying it. Um, it's a lot different than I think I was expecting going into it, but it seems like it's not too serious. Um, so. Just let me know in the comments below how you guys, if you guys played in, how you guys feel about it. Uh, all right, you're gonna miss mom's cooking. If mom's pie is safe, it keeps all our pie safe, okay. You will miss meals with the family. Uh, the health really puts the hearth and, hearth and home. All right, what's over here? Nothing on a hat rack today. Oh, let me go back inside, I wasn't ready. <laughs> the barrel roll. Uh, oh, I have a little brother, what do you know? It's covered with all his weird diagrams and charts, okay? Um, you pick up one of your brother's weird 
books and flip it though. Leviathan Geometrical. Uh, no wonder I never know what he's talking about. Uh, you pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uber and Dars tell Beckett. I'm not even going to try to reach his function. Dutch in ba ba ba. How many different languages do you need to know to learn about numbers? That's a good question. And you pick up another one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to read it. <laughs> what a weird kid. Uh, it's your kid's brother's story box. Uh, let's look inside. Oh, I got a puzzle cube. Cool. All right. Uh, let's check the puzzle cube out. This is one of your brother's weird puzzles. Fiddle with it. Uh, okay, your brother already had most of it of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple moves. Okay. Hooray. I'll take that. Why not? Um, that, that walk, though. Um, so tidy. Okay. It's covered with all those weird diagram charts. All right. I think that's about it here. My living room. I love... No time to screw around the woods. Time to head west. Okay, here's this. Uh, your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep. It's that book you wanted from Crimbo. I know it's early, but the one, uh, the one about picking books. Oh boy, the one about desert survival. Oh boy, the one about bartending. Oh boy. Uh, let's do bartending. Uh, that's the one. Enjoy it. You got an item. Mind your meat. Uh, please be careful out there. Write us a letter where you can. She hugs you. I will miss you, Mom. Goodbye. Alright, Mom. I'll see you down the road. Um, let's check it out. Mind your meat. Uh, the book is guide making. It's most of your meat by getting the best possible deal on every single thing you buy. Give you the Dickens skill. Read it. Uh, you read the book from the cover and among other things. That's covered too high. You got a skill thicker in. Okay, nice. All right. Um, after you're done reading it, you use the newfound skills to pawn it off and wide-eyed roof for 60 meat. You gain 60 meat. Oh, I'm solid. Done and done. All right. Uh, let's go over this way. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit that. Time for you. Time to leave that. Uh, hat doesn't fit that. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His... His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. You got an item, briefcase full of snakes. Thanks, Dad. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did, goodbye, Dad. All right, it's a haystack. Dig through it. Yeah, why not? Oh, I got a needle, nice. Let's check the needle out. Uh, it's for picking locks. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, talk to baby brother. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back and you hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. What? Where? Why are you going? West anyway. To help people to seek my fortune to get off this stupid farm. Uh, uh to help people. You read the papers, Rufus? The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous. Sixty percent of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I still think you'd be dead you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch in the arm. Uh let's leave. Okay. Uh go watch young man? Yes. Okay. I like uh I like the opening. It's very very pretty straightforward, just kid getting ready to go west and trying to help people and find himself. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to play this because it's a lot different than most computer games I play. I usually play a lot of horror or uh, maybe some uh, sport games like some golf. Um, so this is a little bit different than what I usually do, but uh, I'm actually kind of excited to give it a start. Um, and I'm, these uh, opening credits are uh, 
or uh, what's the word? Uh, you can tell they're not taking it to themselves seriously, which is always good. So um, you can tell it's going to be a really fun game. 200 miles later. Uh, dirt, water, 300 miles. Oh, what's happening? Of course, I fell off. What else is now? Well, that the bad news is that you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in town rather than in a gulp somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Uh, get get up and uh, swipe yourself off. All right, let's. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, turn up. Let's uh, let's get that turn up. Excuse, excuse me, Mister. Dirt water, 300 miles to go for it. You need a horse. Okay, so I can't go that way. Hey, buddy, it's a chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. Uh, let's grab it. Okay, I wonder what that is. No, just nothing. Doesn't really. Okay. Now, our pointy. A sign on the door reads, Gone Drinking. Uh -huh. That's. Oh, no! That, uh. That's nasty. I love the walking though. Can we just acknowledge the walking? As you walk in this land, the crazy eyed guy sent to the left at the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. <sighs> hey, where you at, uh, god dang nabbit? Uh, well, I. Uh, Y'all can't drink in here without a hat. Damn proper. He points at the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. That's very convenient, so I will take a hat. You look through the hat and find a battered derby that looks like something you wear. Uh, let's grab it. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He give, gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy nod. Say, fella. Uh, yeah. You hid and wished. Then uh, you want some company. I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Alright, so that was Pete. Uh, I guess he's Pete's eye. Um, what you say, Pete? Who me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, dag nabbit, there's a rock in my biscuit barrel. Uh, uh huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. See you later, Pete. Uh, Pete's an interesting guy. Uh, these two are playing poker, or at least trying to, to keep looking back. And fourth, from the hands to the holla, to the how to play poker card that came with the deck. Biting their lips and concentrating in real hand. Um, I don't want to play right now, so I will play maybe later. That guy's asleep. Uh, spit thing. It's spit, Splatoon. People get into it, you know, without even looking in it. That's absolutely disgusting. Nope, you decide it. As you back away from the horrible stink bucket. Nope, nope, nope. Um, I don't know though. Um, I think we should look into in it, actually. Yeah, it's full of spit, regular spit, crushed tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell, even from a distance, it smells horrible. I'm sure it does. Um, I think I should keep looking, because I'm going to, I'm going to, Take a leap of faith and say, let's keep looking. Nope, you decide to back away from the hall of snake bucket. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's, uh, okay, so let's look in it. And we're going to do that. Uh, let's look closer. You are now on hands and knees peering into a filth encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Uh, well, get it. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air like a greasy fog enveloping enveloping and blah, the stinking brass horror it smells like the vomit trowel at a mesquite barbecue eating concert you hesitate uh never surrender we're this far in we're not going to go back now you punch your hands into awful soup it makes it sound like a globe your skin is burning your eyes start to water um let's keep setting your fingers make contact with something you pull your hand out at the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. 
You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations, I got the nasty ring. Hooray! That was disgusting, but at least I got it. Uh, who do we got here? You walk to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back while reading. Reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Uh, okay. Keep waiting. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Dan. What brings you to our little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. Came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts. Unfortunately... Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for, for a real job, I recommend take, talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Um, let's ask about the railroad first. The railroad. The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one of the, one thing or another. Big company, that. Um, let's ask about Dirtwater. Dirtwater. Dirtwater is interesting. It, it, it's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by damned cows. Lots of opportunity there. She pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yep, if I was a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. Alright, um, errands. You mentioned errands. Yeah, the Forsaken Bird just always falling apart in one way or another. The host is always needing help since he hurt his leg, and the uh, no account sheriff should certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Uh, anything else? Well, I've got a goblin <laughs> loose in the basement, some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off, and got spores everywhere. Uh, goblin. Got, gotta love goblins. Uh, I could probably handle the goblin. Uh, much obliged. I'll unlock the basement for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Uh, I got a weak fungicide. Oh, okay. I'll take care of it. Nice. Okay, so, uh, howdy, Dan. Howdy, Dan. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town holster. I don't know what that was. Uh, let's do how's that working for you. Oh, those horses are just flying out the door, so business is booming. Nice. No, I mean, the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking instead? <laughs> yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of boring one. But it's got four legs and a back to shit on. Come see me at a stable. I'll be happy to show you. Okay. Good, good, good. So, what again? Alright. Uh, the woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Yeah. Alright. You already have a hat. I love, I love the dancing. I uh, should probably leave him alone. Um, I guess, I think that's everybody. Yeah, so let's go into the basement. Um, let's go into the basement. Um, a pile of old newspapers, okay. You got a item, Born Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. Oh, okay. What? Okay. I'll uh, look at that in a minute. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So I see the goblin. Um, um, a crate of nurse brand whiskey. Good for what ails you. Uh, definitely grab a bottle. Because we're establish your age. Good thing. Your legal drinking age is can reach the top of the bar. You got an item nurse brand whiskey. Alright, cool. Well, I got some stuff. I'm not going to deal with that goblin right now because I just don't want to get myself hurt. Let's look at these items real quick. Um, got the nasty ring. Um, nurse brand whiskey. Okay, born springs. Okay, so I got some stuff. A uh, briefcase full of snakes. Um, look inside. There are lots of snakes in the briefcase. Venom level, medicine level. Uh, let's get some medicine. Uh, you grab a bottle and squeeze a little medicine into it. You got an item, snake medicine. Extract some venom. You grab a bottle and squeeze some snake venom into it. You got a bottle of basic. Okay, so let's do it like this. Back and forth. Close the briefcase. Nice, okay. Cool. Alright, um. Oh, didn't mean to go inside. 
Um, Alright, so that is, I think, a good place to stop for right now. Uh, guys, thank you for joining me on the first part of West is Loathing. I appreciate it for joining me. Always remember to stay sweet.